Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, hot night tonight. It's yeah, in more ways than one. Ah, uh, boy, there's so much I could ask you about, but in our limited time, I'd like to hit some of the highlights of your career. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, that band that you played in for a long time, Van Halen. Uh, I think a lot of people know the story about how that band formed and how you became a part of it, but I think as we get uh, further and further into uh, time, there are probably more people that don't know that story. So uh, a refresher for those well, who know. and knew it, they forget now. That's right. They well, can't remember anymore. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Well, what, what was that story? You're yeah, a young guy. And yeah, you know, I was uh, playing uh, in bands in the Arcadia, California area. And uh, of course, the Van Halen brothers were from Pasadena. Them and uh, actually, Dave had joined the band <clears throat> probably about a year. He'd been in the band about a year, and uh, the band that I was playing and lead singing in, we were called Snake. Pretty original name there. We were uh, both playing at the Pasadena College in the auditorium. Uh, no, at the high school, Pasadena High School. And I remember them blowing up their PA, and uh, Ed came and asked me if he could use the PA that we had. So I said, sure, you know. And uh, so we opened up for Van Halen that night. And uh, I remember talking with Ed quite a bit in the parking lot after the show, you know, just kind of BSing around about, you know, music, the local scene, all the local band type stuff. And uh, it was actually through a mutual friend of ours, I was in a music class with Ed, that he found out that uh, they were, I don't know, relieving uh, the bass player. They were getting rid of their bass player. So uh, he mentioned my name and uh, Alex, uh, I think, I don't know if it's Alex who called me and asked me if I wanted to come over and jam. They were playing, rehearsing in some little garage in Pasadena, some friend's house. And I uh, went, went over there and, uh, you know, we played and they kind of put me through the paces and all their stuff and whatever and asked me that day if I wanted to join the band. And I said, yeah, sure. I mean, they, you know, they were playing clubs in Hollywood and stuff like that and uh, the extent of our band. And we were doing a lot of parties and, and that kind of thing. So that's basically how I joined the band. Uh, you're not with Van Halen anymore. No, I'm not. And there are uh, varying stories of uh, why you are not any longer with that band. And uh, how about uh, we take this opportunity for you to set us straight and give us the give us the real well, scoop? I'll, I'll get as straight as I can here. I'm not going to you know dig deep into it and the dirt and all that stuff because you know I'm not into all that kind of stuff. But uh, you know, just like any, anything else, you know, people have differences of opinion or whatever. And you know, Van Halen was was on an extended hiatus, and I wanted to go out. Boy, I didn't want to just sit around and do nothing. And uh, Sammy uh, put together this tour with uh, Dave Lee Roth. They were calling it the Sam and Dave tour. And uh, he asked me if I wanted to come out and, and guest on a few of the shows, you know, which I, I did maybe about a handful of shows on that tour with Sammy. Just come out and play a few Van Halen songs. And, uh, well, let's just say that uh, the powers to be, they were, were not too happy that I was doing something like that. And, uh, you know, I kind of got backed up against a wall, and you know, I just I wanted to go out and play, so I decided, you know, that I'm going to go out and play. You know, I thought I'd be waving the Van Halen flag high while there was nothing going on really with the band at the time. So, you know, things just kind of kind of blew up from there, and uh, I could just kind of leave the rest to your imagination. But that's basically how it all kind of came to be. Well, what kind of thoughts or feelings do you have about Wolfgang, if you don't mind me asking? I think he's a great kid. I mean, obviously, I've known him or since he was born yeah. and uh, you know he's, he's, a, he's a great musician he's a great bass player I mean he, you know, he plays drums guitar bass and you know and he sings and uh, so you know, naturally I understood you know when, when he was doing when he went back with the reunion thing that uh, you know his dad Ed wanted his son to play with him you know and that's you know totally great I mean I just I found out uh, that he was going to be playing bass with uh, the rest of uh, everybody else when they did their press conference. But, uh, no, I, I mean, I wished him I wished him luck in a, in, a, in a couple of interviews that I did, and hopefully he read those. And uh, how about the current tour? How's that going? Uh, this is actually only the third show that I've joined Sammy on. I just right. joined him a couple of cities ago in Chicago. But it's great. We're basically uh, just coming out. He's doing, uh, Sammy's doing this Four Generations of Rock tour where he goes through, uh, you know, each of the major parts of, of his career, starting with Montrose and then his solo stuff, and of course the Van Halen stuff was, was a big part of it, and that's what he asked me to come out and, and play on. And, you know, if you really think about it, uh, 
if you want to hear any of those songs, the Sammy era songs, this is where you're going to have to come and hear them because it's probably the only time you're going to hear, hear those songs play live by any of the people from Van Halen, you know, because obviously uh, Eddie and Alex and, uh, they, you know, they're not doing any of it. What's happening with Chickenfoot? Chickenfoot is on a hiatus. We toured last year. Obviously, we didn't tour as much as we would have liked to uh, because uh, uh, one of the reasons was Chad was uh, unavailable. The Chili Peppers were still... Uh, Waist deep into their tour, and uh, this uh, this year probably in the in the winter, uh, around November December, uh, Joe has said that uh, he's working. He's got some demos that that uh, he wants to lay on us, and so I think Chickenfoot will be starting to get back together in the winter and uh, indoor venues. I hope. Well, when we're you come to probably, Michigan, probably studio first. Uh, we'll be we'll be going into the studio uh, next uh, January. We'll probably uh, go in and start hashing uh, some ideas around and stuff like that and kind of getting back to that. And obviously we wanted to wait until Chad was free, and so that's kind of like why we didn't do anything this year because uh, uh, his band was, they were finishing their, I think their tour kind of officially finished uh, early summer. But they, they've been doing one-off shows here and there, and I think by the end of the year uh, they'll be completely finished with their tour. So uh, if Chad's wife will let them come out and play, <laughs> come on, Chad, we're ready. <laughs> You've got a new PV signature amp. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. It's a two-channel amp. Uh, the second channel is a distortion channel, but I, I kind of refined it for them uh, by adding tone to it and a blend so that you can actually play at a lower volume and blend in the amount of distortion and how aggressive you want the distortion to sound. And I think it turned out really damn fine myself. Great. <laughs> Switching gears, Michael. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Mad Anthony's Boy, Cafe. We're switching and gears now. Let's talk hot sauce, because mm -hmm. I know you're very proud of that. Yeah, well, it's, obviously it's it's not something that uh, I went into as deep as like Sammy with his tequila or you know uh, like that. But I do enjoy it, and the company in Southern California makes it for me. And uh, we're uh, we're basically online and uh, in a lot of boutique. Uh, hot sauce stores and uh, getting into a few more of the major uh, markets on the west coast uh, and uh, we have a uh, two hot sauces one's like a regular hot sauce which which still is hot and then i have a triple x which you know you can want to have well, well maybe not even water that's not going to help you <laughs> plenty of milk milk helps and then uh, we do a spicy yellow mustard and uh, barbecue sauce, a regular barbecue sauce and a spicy barbecue sauce. And it's just, it's just something that's really fun to do. I'm really passionate about hot sauce. Uh, ever since back in Van Halen, fans would find out that I loved hot chili, you know, chili peppers and stuff. And they would start bringing me salsas and, and, and peppers and stuff like that to the shows. And somebody suggested, hey, why don't you do a hot sauce? And right then I know Joe Perry was uh, coming out with his. But uh, I found the right kind of people, and they, they really uh, let me, again, have control rather than me just slap my name on a bottle of hot sauce and call it mine. This is, this is, uh, this is really my baby. You know? I, I don't know all the, a lot of the technical stuff and the, uh, some of the, the spices and stuff to use, but I know what I like with the flavors, so I'd make suggestions there. But it's, it's a fun thing to do, and it's going really well. Last question, Michael. Mm -hmm. What would you be if you weren't a bass player? Oh, my. God. Something outside of music. Something outside of music? Well, I'll tell you one thing. If you ask my wife this, she'd probably say that I'd be a gardener because when I'm home, I'm always fixing sprinklers and stuff like that. She goes, God, you must have been a gardener in your previous life. No, actually, actually, the only other thing that, uh, that I actually was working on before uh, I, my parents really let me uh, go full-time with music was uh, I was in, uh, took a lot of psychology classes if you can, if you can believe that, I wanted to work with, with underprivileged and uh, mentally disabled children, and I was really, I, I really have a soft, have a soft spot in my heart for that, you know. So beautiful, Michael Anthony. Great catching up with you. Enjoy the tour. Safe travels. Much luck good. and continued success to you always. Good talking to you, and you know, Chicken Foot will be around soon. Like you said, check the hot sauce out. Check the new PV VBMA amp out. It kicks butt. <laughs>